the humidity is literally so bad out here, people. This camera does not stay clear for like 60 seconds at a time and it's foggy. So let's get this truck started up. just been really really working on getting this next truck giveaway planned out and just really trying to get the uh, the build for this truck that I'm driving the two-wheel drive first gen just really trying to get that nailed down and sorted out so that um, when the month of September hits we can just go full throttle on this build and then just just crush it because I want this to go really well I want it to be one of the coolest trucks we've ever done on this channel so that's gonna take a lot of planning and just a lot of getting stuff lined up so we can get parts in to build it um, but anyways today's just kind of kind of be a vlog I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to vlog. My buddy Jesh was like, bro, just do a random vlog. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know. So um, I haven't done a lot of this. It seems like a lot lately I've just been making videos when I've got, you know, big stuff happening, like a transmission build, the paint and body work for the truck, stuff getting done, and, you know, just big expensive stuff. But um, I'm going to try my best to pick up the camera and just film some stuff like this more and more often if I can get myself to do it. So um, hopefully you guys aren't too upset, um, but just trying to get some other stuff done little by little in the background too and it's just my mind's been so just consumed with trying to plan out bigger things that I kind of forget about the little things like just vlogging you know random little daily things so anyways guys hopefully I can piece something together throughout the day and you guys enjoy it it's Joshua's truck his new beater so we're gonna go see what he's up to he just got here a little bit before me so I don't think he's too busy so yeah we're gonna go in there and see what he's up to and um yeah, this is just this is different for me picking up the camera again um, when I'm not doing some kind of truck stuff or some kind of a truck part that we just got recently done. So we're gonna get in there and see what he's up to. I found this dude. What's uh, up, guys? Yeah, yeah just uh, up, you know, 2,000 some subs AC. already. AC. Oh yeah. So I'm always like, bro, it's so hot. I don't want to go work. I was like, 105 feel. I have no AC in the barn. This dude. This is blowing out like 50 degrees. Right into the engine. Right bay. at the engine bay. Right where you're gonna be working. Right there. I was like, right there. Okay, I wanna put the HX35 on my truck. And he's like, dude, it is too freaking hot. And I'm like, because I'm thinking, like, when you get sweaty, yeah. your hands get slippery, you're yeah. dropping bolts into the freaking crap. Yeah. And I was like, I get just lean over like that, you get migraines and that kind of heat, dehydrated. Oh, yeah. And I was just thinking in my head, like, bro, I got AC. All <laughs> <laughs> right, right in the back. I got like, AC. It's, it's gonna be a couple hours before you wanna mess with that. Maybe a little bit sooner because you got AC blowing Feel in the engine bay. Well, that's not going to do you anything. That doesn't get hot. Yeah, that's true. That's what gets hot. Yeah, it is warm. What the f***? <laughs> what the f***? Well, I guess we'll just leave her sit for a second. Yeah. Um, if you can get people to keep the garage door closed, it should cool off faster. Anyway, so the turbo that he's planning to put on is the one off of the dually. I know a bunch of people wanted to buy this off me, and I had a bunch of people bugging me for it. Um, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but... He's got a first gen that he's planning on using this on, and on my yeah. first gen, I'm planning on putting... Um, either like an S366, I think possibly, um, like a single or a compound setup. But it's still kind of on debate. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like I was saying in the beginning, I'm trying to figure out that build still before I you know, spend a bunch of money on parts. Because that truck's probably going to run me, um, even with partial sponsorships on stuff, it's probably going to run me 10 grand and stuff. Do you, guys, I mean. do, do you guys know what this is? Or what is that? It looks a lot like the one on the turbo here, but just a lot bigger. Huh. Is it the same thing? Or I have no idea. Is this brand new? But if you guys have any idea, leave a comment under this video. I'd love to know. Yeah. What it is, because it is brand new. Yep, yep, if yep. I need it. First, man, this is so cold. Are you jealous? I'm very, actually, very, very jealous. I just want to stand here all day. I got to get my camera too out of the yeah. basement. So yeah, I don't know what all we're gonna do if we're gonna get to doing this in this video or not, but. That's the, that's the plan. That's what but really there. though, comment under there what that is because I want to know. It might be something I don't even need. It might be something that I should keep. Yeah. Maybe unrelated. You just had it in the box when I bought the truck. But we, re we really don't know. Really don't know. I'm not really a mechanic. I'm not a mechanic either. And just, some of these guys think I am, but I'm not. And then a lot of them stuff. know I'm not, and they really laid on thick <laughs> to like saying how everything's wrong, you know. But 
You always have those people, right? So I'm thinking I can mess around with the GMC while we're waiting for this to cool down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's true. He's got a scrapper. Scrapper! Let's go. So long story short, we've had a problem with one bolt that we lost. Not this one, but the matching one. Yeah. Right so, as we were about to zip it up. The yeah. last one, and then we were going to put the air filter on, and then the other air thing. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to call it, anyway, we're going to get the truck started up, and I need to get some fuel because I cannot stand it. It's like a pet peeve. Once it gets down to a quarter tank, I have to fill my trucks up. I cannot run it lower than that. How about you? I drive until they're empty. He just got his HX35 from my dually installed. And so far, it seems fine. I don't see any oil leaks, but he doesn't have the wastegate line hooked up, so we don't know if that's gonna cause any issues with boost pressure or not. Um, he's just gonna keep a close eye on it just to make sure nothing goes too high, but um, we're just gonna run it, see if it runs smooth, and then we wanna sort out the boost, the uh, wastegate line eventually here soon, just to make sure nothing bad happens, but. And he also got that chrome grill back. I started peeling at it, and it turns out it really just plastic up. I completely forgot to, I did completely forget to put a new gasket on where the oil drain goes, but it also wasn't lining up quite right, so I don't know if it was more than that, but I guess I'm just going to have to unbolt it, um, not the turbo, but the, the drain, sand it down or shave it off if I can, and then... I guess put gasket on it and see if it works. For the record, before anybody says anything, I did the same thing with Nasty Red. Actually, when I put the S475 in, um, the oil thing was leaking on the underside, so I had to take the turbo. I actually took the entire kit back out just to put a better, um, like one of those little squeeze out little like gasket yeah. maker. Yeah, just use some. Uh, RTV gasket maker just to redo that and put it on let it sit for a couple hours and then run the truck and it was totally fine So it's just one of those deals where yeah. It's just it's one of the smallest things that you just kind of over over we were just when you haven't done this every day you Getting know? in a hurry because it already been like five hours of removing and trying to get behind there those bolts are a pain in the butt but then Now we got a little bit of an oil leak. It's not super bad, but a lot for a turbo I believe um, First oil I've seen drip out of this thing. <laughs> yeah, which will be fine after you just do the gasket. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, I mean, otherwise, I mean, it toasted the tires. Yeah. If you check out my vid, it yeah. toasted the tires. Check out his video for the ride along. I'm mm -hmm. just kind of like vlog together today, just because I haven't done this in a while, so I'm just kind of throw bits and pieces together. But that's pretty much it. On our way back, smelled a little bit of yeah. oil, and I was like, yeah, there's something burning. <laughs> if we eat, and then go to Dick's Warding Goods, close out there. Yeah, well, for, the, for this, I might just close it out here. Close her out. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If it did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team and join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.